Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer courtesy of Elliot. Thank you so much. And uh, definitely one of the breweries I um, look up to. Uh, so uh, two um, well-researched, very competent uh, home brewers uh, slash bloggers turn into a uh, professional brewery. Um, uh, Michael Tonsmeyer and Scott Janish. So this is Cheater Hops number 13. So this is Sapwood Cellars. They are out of uh, Columbia, Maryland. I actually visited them on the, my move down here. Like, over a year ago, so you can check out that video. But uh, this is Cheater Hops number 13, Cheater Hops. I mean, these are the um, sexy hops out there. So uh, this is Cheater Hop 13, base of malted barley, oats, and wheat, and then, then DDH it with uh, f uh, four pounds per barrel, Simcoe and Mosaic. So let's dig into this one. I'm really excited for it. Canned, same amount. Two weeks to go, pretty much the day. So beautiful beer, wow. Wonderful haze on that, not completely opaque. Medium plus haze comes in this kind of wonderful, like a uh, deep gold color, or not deep gold, like medium gold color. So a little bit reasonably darker than some of your uh, New England IPAs. That's kind of color to that. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's what I am familiar with. Uh, smelling with like Trillium, old school treehouse. Even like Hill Farm said, just like, like thinking about like four or five years ago. That is mango juice for days. Some ripe tangerine. Sweet little bit of like peach, nectarine. It's like really intense orange, so like sweeter than navel, so like caracara -cara orange. Wow, that's killer. What kind of what kind of notes do they give this one? They say have mango pine characteristics with the bright, dank fruitiness, and then a bit of sweetness and a bit of vanilla from their house English yeast. Oh, now it's not more, there's that bright pulpiness coming in. So like really sweet, pulpy, smoothie kind of note. Um, also this kind of like, um, almost, yeah, like almost like uh, mashed up mangoes with the skin on and also like just like pulver up, uh, pulverized ripe orange with the pulp and the oils and everything expressed. Some point. Are you kidding me? So, <laughs> first off, this beer is insanely good. Um, <laughs> the initial impression is just like, I mean, I think back to those beers I had four or five years ago, literally naming those New England breweries. It is, just like I described it on the palate, it's um, citrusy, tropical mango, a bit of that pulpy stone fruit, but it has that like macerated um, uh, uh, peel of the citrus involved too, right? So it's like clementine, tangerine, sweet, sweet, sweet orange, but like you've, you've moved in the, the citrus peel too, so it's oily uh, and also has a little sharp, a little bit of like um, dryness and bitterness to it, right? Because it's not just straight orange juice, it's the pithiness too and the oils of the peel. And then uh, not really showing on the uh, on the nose was this, this really beautiful kind of like piney, slight dank note that like, you know, helps balance out the juiciness of beer. It's so creamy, smooth. And then almost has that like Esser profile of Treehouse slash like Hill Farmstead. And there's just a little bit more rounded sweetness to it. I mean, like this could be just the idea of perception of that the, 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 the beer is a little bit darker, but it also seems like it's just slightly hair a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more sweet, uh, like the Hill Farms that beers. And then as I drink it more, there's a little bit of that kind of like mosaic dankness slash Sim Simcoe dankness, right? There's that uh, fun, it's actually that not that like super definitively mosaic -y of a beer, if you it dislike mosaic. Uh, it really leans on the super sweet, juicy notes. And, and again, people also uh, uh, associate like dank, dank weed and all that stuff with Simcoe. This one is just a super huge fruit bomb, which has the edge of the dankness on the back end. So I got some beer. I strongly believe this might be the best IPA I've had in at least a year. Around there. It's got to be somewhere around there. The juice machine, very green. We're, we're somewhere around here. Yeah. 
That's 100 out of 100. That is 100 out of 100 DDH, IPA, Cheater Hops, Sapwood Cellars. Um, if you guys are not seeking this brewery, then you have to. Like This is just absolutely world class. Uh, the fact that none of the treehouse beers that I uh, bought were even remotely close to this level is just absolutely insane. I mean, granted, I did have a few, you know, ones that I reviewed back then, or a few months ago, that were um, Hunnets, uh, Juice Me Stream, Very Green, but none of the other beers even remotely were close to this. Yeah, it's a right there. That's absolutely insane. That is absolutely delicious. Great mouthfeel. Love the aromatics. Love how clean it is. And it has a bounce to it that's really nice. So that kind of just like green pine character slash like bank. Uh, hits with just a nice amount of bitterness. Uh, driving in there without being like overly creamy. No hot burn. No hot bite. 100 guys? 100. Trap number 13. Get yourself some. Thank you so much, Elliot. Until next time, guys. Cheers.